Hello everyone! Welcome to another Let's Play of Not Tonight. My name is Anna Mardal. I went away for a few hours and came back and instead of 10433 we are on 441. So I don't know if that means there have been uh, eight updates to get from 33 to 41 or how their numbering system is working. Um, so I'm not sure what to expect tonight. But what I would like to do, and what we're going to try to do, is go through chapter two as perfectly and as quickly as we can. We have some bills, which I'm not even going to worry about right now. They're due. They're marked on the day they're due. And we are going to go to the Tiki Head by Day. When I did my first playthrough of this, I went to the Tiki Head... I went with the Day Tiki Head as the permanent job and because if you recall we have to pick you can either be head bouncer for the tiki head at during the day or you can be head bouncer for the tiki head during the night but because the two owners hate each other they refuse to let you work with them if you work with the other one. And I felt even at the time. So let's see what happens if I give them the pills. How does the patch? Okay, the patch put it back. Excellent, good. I did not like having to drag it back. And I even specifically told the developer um, that I didn't like that. Um, and they said they would look into it. And it looks like they took the feedback uh, seriously. Mine and anyone else who may have said something. Because having to drag it back was just a big pain. There's a point at which there's too much dragging happening. Uh, so anyway, I was saying, before I rudely interrupted myself, that the <laughs> No, they didn't fix it. If you don't take their license, I specifically told them about that. That's just very frustrating. If you don't take their license away before you give them something, then the license disappears once you give them something. Which is a pretty big bug because it means you can no longer check their license and you also can't accept or, or, or you also can't reject them if you don't have the keyboard shortcut unlocked. Um, and I specifically told them about the bug and they still haven't fixed it. Um, I don't understand that. It must be a very persistent bug if eight updates later they still haven't fixed it. I mean that happens sometimes. You you put in a fix and it breaks everything. So oh she was too young, we screwed up. I was busy ranting about bugs. This is a cop. You can tell because the cheese's holes are red instead of gray. And the best thing we can do is to start going too fast. That was the wrong nationality. I just 
really don't understand why they wouldn't fix. I mean, I, I specifically read off to them what the bug is doing. They must be having trouble with it. Okay, so as I was saying, you can pick whether you want to work during the day at the tiki bar or during the night at the tiki bar. You cannot do both because the owners hate each other and you, they force you to pick. In my first playthrough, I picked the day bar mostly because it was significantly easier. You don't have to check clothing, whereas at night you do. I then went on to feel that was probably a mistake because the night job pays better. It has, if I recall, and I think I do, more opportunities for bonuses. So this time around, We are going to work the more challenging but more lucrative night shift. Jap is here. And he wants us to work jobs on Sunday. And he has given us a temporary work visit that he will stamp for each of the jobs that we work. There are also new bouncer items. The heavenly set gives you more money from bribes and drugs, but they are also extremely expensive. Um, it would cost 1600 pounds to afford them. And the speedy set is is also expensive. Don't get me wrong, um, but it, it 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 just goes to show that we kind of really need to pick one and not probably buy them all. I had planned to wait and buy the military set that kept people from arguing with you, but. Then in our fake trial at the end, that was used against you. Um, I'm not sure if that was a joke because Jup makes you dress up that way on his jobs and he was the one complaining about it. So you literally can't avoid dressing up as the police. But just in case, I'm not going to dress up as the police for fun. The drug sales ones would be nice. Although I really don't think I could wear, what the heck is that? It's like torn fishnet stockings with like a garter belt, but on the outside? Why? What? What is that? What am I looking at? I will just go ahead and go with this speedy set that worked so well for us before. Movement speed is never a bad thing to have. Then we're going to go into flat and go into useful stuff. And we're going to go ahead and start buying um, things that help with our health. Because very soon we'll get that healthy app that grinds us into dust. So we're going to replace whatever the space heater is with a radiator. Boom. And then we're going to replace it with a bigger radiator. Boom. It did something in the bathroom too. I'm not quite sure what. 
We're gonna replace this bucket of ice with a fridge. And then we're gonna replace the small dorm fridge with a bigger fridge. We're gonna replace the bed with, well, another bed. And then we're gonna replace it with the actual bed as opposed to something that was on what looked like bricks. And that is all the stuff that we are going to buy for right now. Um, I guess we could buy a new phone skin, but it doesn't actually repair the phone, so mm, I don't really care. Alright, so that's enough buying of things. Now we go to the Tiki Head at night. And look how much faster we move. Okay. He has a guest list, which gives us an extra 100 pounds, 200 once we're the uh, head bouncer, if we uh, fill it out. And there's no beachwear because he has to sweep up the sand. So that's the tricky part, is the no beachwear. And it frustrated me to no end the first time around. But we're going to try to... We're going to try. But, for instance, you are wearing beach clothes. It's kind of silly, really, that no beach were allowed on the beach, but I guess he's able to get enough business that it doesn't matter. You too are not wearing pants? Out you go. Alright, let's go check on our guest list. You are unfortunately not the appropriate nationality. We're not taking bribes tonight. Okay. You can come in. While I check over your details, would you like some drugs? I can't sell to this next one, he's a cop. But I can sell to you. You are purple, so you are also a cop. Shannon is back. No, Shannon, you can't come in. Thank you. Get angry and start leaving, then I get in trouble. We're 
a bonus one. I think we'll be able to make bonus yeah. two. Well, that... Did he give us a... <gasps> we didn't make the guest bonus! That doesn't make sense. I crossed off like a zillion people. Were all of those rejects? I really thought we had made the guest bonus. We did make the guest bonus. Well, why did it look like... We didn't. I could have swore it said four of five instead of five of five. I don't know. I'm hallucinating. What do you think, kitty? Am I hallucinating? <laughs> Too much sun-kissed? Sun-kissed is the official drink of seeing things that you shouldn't see. No, I shouldn't say that. That's just supposed to be a silly joke, but... I had to go shopping this week. All by myself. I used to... We used to go shopping as a family, you know. And so, I had to do it all by myself. And... But I did really well. I cleaned your bathroom. How are you feeling? Leg all better out of your cast. Here is your bill. Okay. Yes, yes. We have an exorbitant bill. Oh, and he installs Metter, which we don't want installed because it's going to make our life a living hell. Okay. So right now we're doing all right. We've got a plus one heat because we've got the heat heating two. Our hunger is zeroed out. Um... And what really kills us is the, the night off of work starts adding up. And we have several ridiculous bills. I'm going to go ahead and pay. I don't see think there's any reason not to pay them. Because I don't think there's any more shopper goods that are going to come along. We've already bought everything for the chapter that I care about. So I'm just going to go ahead and pay him so I don't accidentally forget and take some kind of hit to the social credit score. Um, Dr. Hoosier. We're going to go to bed. It's kind of annoying that we can't work today. One of you's going to visit. Susie says, do what Jeff wants, which, I mean, we were going to anyway, so that didn't really add anything to the, to the plot, but sure, whatever. All right. Hey, Euro bra, wonder bra. Glad you came back. Cocktail? It's, let's see here. You know, how like a worm, a tequila has a worm in it? Whatever this is, it's got a cockroach. No thanks. More for me, bra. Gotta keep drinking, or I'll think of my bro, Jonesy. Bad words really harsh my chill, you know. But we're talking like a real anus. Thinks he should be manager of this place. Him and that, uh, that rod up. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, don't work for him. That's what I'm saying. Become his bet head bouncer? You'll never see me again. What is? Let's get you out there. I read that because I, I never... I haven't read his conversations because I never worked for him past the first night. I always worked for the day shift. Which, I mean, was a lot simpler than having to check clothing. But again, I think this is more lucrative. Because of the guest list. Okay, now I have to actually think. <laughs> do you have blue bubbles? You do have some power pills. I need to check our social score. I'm probably 
crashing it. Okay, let's go check on the guest list. You're good. You're good. You're good. That's five. Nice to get that out of the way early on. You are from the wrong nationality, I'm sorry to say. You are not wearing your shirt. You're allowed in. Madam, may I interest you in some delicious cheese? from the wrong nationality, so off you go. sense for me to just rush everyone through than to actually check. There we go. We hit bonus number two. And the guest is back down to four again. I knew I didn't hallucinate that, so I need to do another bug report on Twitter. I don't even know how to describe that. Okay, you can buy cheese, but you're not allowed in. No, I'm not taking a bribe, huh? Okay. That's the end of the night. I'm not gonna risk getting any more. They'll throw the guest is back to four. Gonna stand here. I knew I didn't make it up. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna bounce over to Twitter real quick and talk to Panic Barn. Give me one second and I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. Um, so the two bugs we reported is that, first of all, if you give someone something like drugs without first taking their ID, the license disappears. They cannot be checked or rejected without using keyboard shortcuts. Second, the guest list ticks down from a complete 5-5 five five to 4-5 during the night. You still get credit for a finished guest list, but the clicker shows the wrong number. And then I told them it was Thursday 7-5-18 in game. So, which, if they're not American, that number will look wrong to them. But, oh well. Okay. Tape says you did real good out there. Mahalo. Is it over? I think I fell asleep for a bit there. That's how good I got this place under control. Yeah, whatever, brah. Okay. Yeah, our social score is not great. We're at 87. Um...
advanced day. I believe the postman comes. This was foolish. It was just a puzzle telling us to to work for Jub. Jub, which doesn't make sense because what's her face told us to work for Jub, Guinevere, so we were going to anyway. Um, it's weird because the puzzles and papers, please, were actually tricky. And so, you had to kind of work at them a little bit. Here, it's like a joke as opposed to actually hard. And I don't really understand the point of having a joke puzzle. There's already so many jokes that... Aloha, you came back? Groovy. My bro keeps poaching all the best bouncers. Maybe that says something about you. <laughs> Fuck you. Anyway, glad to have you here. Which is a spelling error, but I get it. Become my head doorman and I'll reward you handsomely. Cashola, capiche? There's another error. Cashola, kerching. Cocktail in the house? It's pineapple and lemon. Only we're out of lemon. Still, a quick squirt of washing up liquid never did anyone harm, right? I'll pass. You're lost, Brosephine. <laughs> they should hire me as a typo finder and an error tester. I am an extremely good error tester. Because I bumble into all the errors. Shall we sell tonight? Or shall we not sell and repair our social score? I guess we could be good for one night. Plus, I don't see anyone queuing up with cheese or. Well, there's a cheese. I think you can pretty much run your social credit into the ground and have it repair itself at the end of the month. However, it did apparently become germane in our silly trial at the end. So... I'm trying to keep it reasonably high. Okay, Jan Chung. In you go. Lewis, I'm sorry, but your pants are not appropriate. Shannon Jones. Sean Redding. Daniel, I'm so sorry, but you are not. You are a cop, Miss Purple Bubbles. But you are on the list, so get in. You are not wearing pants. You are wearing pants. Another purple bubble cop. Marjorie, I'm so sorry, but you can't come in. I still need three more guests. Alex, Kyle. Keep walking, man. You've got a bikini top on. Uh. 
We're at last call. And I need... No, get out quickly. Okay, the absolute best thing I can do is just slam people through as fast as I can. And she was the wrong nationality. Quickly, 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 one more, one more, one more. We made it. So that, like I said, I've said it before and I'll say it again, that is the secret, is to save all your warnings and just slam them out at the end. Which... Frankly, not really sure that that's the best, um, well, it is what it is. Great work today. Super fruity. Can't believe my bro is trying to get me fired. Me. Hunters, like, expect their bartenders to be high on the job. Adds that, that certain zing. See? You get me, bro. You, like, totally get me. Wish we could show that. What we were talking about? Oh, yeah. All right. So we made S, we leveled up. I think we should be head bouncer now. We got five uh, points. There we are, head bouncer. We got five points for. Guess who's my new head bouncer? Sucks to be Jonesy, huh? Sending you some sweet cashola now. I don't remember Jonesy. Oh, right, because. Bonesy offered us cash, and Jonesy gave us, a, like, a tribal mask or something, which was inappropriate anyway, um, and not exactly guest list, so uh, everyone's alphabetically ordered. That's actually useful. Good. Who could be at the door? It's my Lorna. So, we don't have anything to give her. But later in the chapter, we'll have the. Um, piggy bank that Dave raises for her and we will give her that then. Okay, this is us dressed in that police gear. Okay, we need to check all the usual stuff. Can't let the people nationalities go in uh, of the the Euro axis of evil, and we get five warnings, so we kind of don't even have to pay attention. We can breeze through this. Let's see your documentation, please. Yeah. You're allowed in. Uh. You're allowed in.
You need to have your visa stamped. before and I nearly rejected your flag for the wrong reasons. Your visa is not stamped, sir. I'm so sorry. Go get it stamped and then come right back. Stamped either. Okay, we're gonna start going faster because we do have a bunch of warnings left to use. And so far, it seems like almost everybody has had expiration dates and such in order, so I think the big thing is that we're just checking stamps. Last call, get in a few more. Alright, it's time to use our five warnings. Well, actually, that. That ID was bad. Taking them as fast as I can go now. Got two warnings. Let's see if we can get to Three warnings. Strategic use of the warning system is key, I think, for managing the bonuses. And from a min-max perspective, I'm cool with that. I'm 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 all about finding the best way to break a game. I don't know if that is fun for players who are trying to play properly and not completely cheese the system. We're back to a safe uh, status on our social score. We have bills to pay again. Which were all incredibly ridiculous. And tonight we are invited to work at the King's Head. Hey, Dave, what's going on? I actually really thought that he cared about v -Cloth, and then I wasn't sure because it was like he moved to France for Malarna. I don't know. Maybe he loves them both. Maybe he's Polly. 
I should be more open to that. I mean, I'm poly, so... Maybe he's polyamorous and he's in love with Viklov and Milorna and all he wants is to live happily ever after with both of them. Although I, I still wish that he, you know, had some indication that they wanted that before following them too. Uh, you were one of the banned nationalities, I'm sorry to say. It's so nice not to have to check clothing though. All right, you're good. And I've got to check for contraband tonight, so that's tricky because it's all... I have to stare at the screen and look for pixels. All right, blonde. After, before. You, sir, have the look of a man who enjoys power pills. It happens. It's very tricky to, 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 to notice, especially if you're not attuned to it. Hey Dave, what can I do for you? I wonder what happens if you try to sell them drugs. <laughs> have any pixels, do you? No, but you were from the wrong nation, I'm sorry to say. Uh, you can come in. Come on in. Oh, they did hologram. Everyone showing up at Dave's party is already super stoned for some reason. have to be in order to think a party in a field with no roof is the best way to spend your evening. I would sell to this next person, but they're a cop, so that would be a bad idea. your experience, but hello, red cheese and cop. Get out. Should be the night. Okay, there we go. That's everyone. Dave, my main Dave. Dave, who I have decided to headcanon is polyamorous. And also, maybe my Larna and Viklav are totally in love with him and just aren't good at texting. Yes. That's 
that's our new hit cam. Oh, our credit score has gone down. This is a shame because people get so happy when I give them drugs. Or cheese or whatever it is. Thank you for dropping by. I'm glad we had this little talk. Alright, off to the Tiki Head bar, which we only really want to go to in order to recover Dave's ring. Aloha, Head Bouncerina. Ready to work? That makes one of us. Yes. Okay, so that is... Dave's ring with a heart on it. Okay. I like how they just have no reaction other than just a stunned what what the heck? <laughs> Alright. The tiki head is now open. ID please. You're good to go in. No. I'm not taking bribes tonight because I don't have enough warnings. I said I'm not taking bribes tonight. ID, please. Barbara Monroy. Okay, well, first of all, here are some power pills. Second of all, you can't come in because you're not wearing pants. But you have pills, so. First of all, here are some power pills. Second of all, you can't come in because you're not wearing pants. Brian, Furcus, you may come in. You are wearing pants. Hugo, you are not wearing pants. don't like you. No offense to any cops in the audience, I just don't like being busted for selling people cheese. Call. 
This is not just a matter of one guest short unless the guest list ticked down which I guess is possible but I don't think I was <sighs> so that's like 300 pounds I lost let's see 80 pounds and I got five no we're not going to do that I am trying not to be a ridiculous perfectionist with this game because some of it really is lady luck, but um. okay, hold on. I will be. Right back. Okay, I'm back. I was fielding questions from the developer on Twitter. They are really nice. I will, I will brag on them about that. Um, Panic Barn is who I've been talking to, and they are super sweet to talk to. I have talked to a lot of developers online because you know I find errors or stuff and you know some people act like you're a you're part of the problem for finding errors or whatever but but they don't they're super nice about it yes they are yes they are super nice all right let's try this again Because we had so much trouble hitting the time limit for tonight, I am not going to deal any drugs. I'm just going to get people in and out as quickly as possible. And hopefully that will... Oh, she was wearing a wrap. I, I don't like that one. The wraps look just like skirts to me, so... I mean, I really feel like in the case of the beach wrap, if it was supposed to, if it was supposed to cue, uh, I can't think of the word. If it's supposed to look like a beachy item, they should put like a, you know, a flower on it or or some polka dots or. Because it really does, the, the, the beach wrap, that one on the bottom right hand corner there, that just looks like a skirt to me. And you know, okay, a wraparound skirt, but... And we got fined. We had one warning, we screwed it up, and we got fined. I was busy talking.
like that I have to drag the ID away from them just to select their clothing and say you can't come in. Like, you should be able to just select their clothing straight off the bat and say, I can tell just by looking at you that you are not dressed appropriately for this venue. See this over here? This is one of those wraps. It's dark black. If you don't know that that, if you don't see the little scene, it looks like shorts or a skirt. Okay, we made bonus one. That's not much, but... Maloha, Bounce Reno. That means a bonus for you. Mahalo. Uh, he's... Jesus. The bonus and the fine canceled each other out. But we still ended up with 450. We could have done much worse. And we didn't sell any drugs, so we got plus five back on a social score, so. And honestly, in some ways, that's worth more to me than the uh, money. And we got Dave's ring, so we don't ever need to work there again if we don't want to. Which is great because I don't want to work for him anyway. He's unpleasant and he misuses Hawaiian language, which is a beautiful language. It deserves better than him. All right, after, before, here we go. We deserve someone who isn't him. After, before, here we go. Comrade, it is I, Galahad of the Resistance. Unfortunately, Galahad Sweetheart, I can't risk blowing my cover. Let's talk to Dave before we're caught. Oh no, it's a scan. 
Oh, I don't have to do it. You're French. You are already banned. through and risk warnings just to get to the pass. Why would you do this to me? Why would you come here with a shiv? Explain yourself. Is two. Shit, I didn't get her the power pills in time. Just again, the developer pinged me again. And I'm back. I'm gonna send them my save file. They're having trouble recreating the problem. Which explains why it hasn't been fixed, because if you can't recreate it, then you can't fix it. Um, so I'm gonna send them my save file and also the video I took of the incident. Yes, yes, we got video of it. Our social score is back down to 91. What messages do we have? Dave here! Thanks for finding my mason ring! He unlocked something in the shop. But it, it doesn't... Do these things help with the final score? Maybe they make me look patriotic? Okay, I guess. I truly do not know, otherwise they're just a waste of my money. And now the shop is... There, now I have... A patriotic phone skin and I don't know if any of the posters are particularly patriotic. I don't know enough about British music to know who those are supposed to be. Um I mean, even though they're fake groups, I assume they're they're reminiscent of real groups. Although they might not be, I don't know. Um, okay, so tonight's um... yeah. Let me think about this. We do not have to go back to the Tiki Head. We have the ring that we needed. And we do need to occasionally skip work and rest. When we skip work, we'll get a plus 20. So if we do it now, that's a bit more than, it'll just, we won't save the extra, it'll just go to 100. So we'll, we'll be skipping, and when we skip, we lose uh, social credit score. So we will go to the Tiki Head tonight, but on the 14th, 
I think we will rest. We could rest potentially on the 17th, but I don't know that there's not work that day. I'm not sure when the festival starts is the thing. Is it the last week or the second to last week? Okay. Usual stuff. We're not dealing tonight because I need to build up our social credit score in anticipation of the fact that we're going to skip a night to rest and build up our medical um, score. So, there will be no drugs. Which is kind of a shame because I actually enjoy that part of it. Not just for the extra money, although the extra money is nice. But it's... Um, It adds something to do. Oh crap. Okay, I accidentally let somebody in with a bribe, so I will be selling tonight because they're... I can no longer have a perfect night. She, she did offer me a bribe and I hit the wrong button. That was my fault. I also can't make a mistake, or else I will now be fined. And you're a cop. Whew, I nearly sold to her. That would have been... That would have been disastrous. I 100% would have restarted. The cops slam you for so many points that it's... It's not even fair. Bray. After, before. Alright. before everything up top matches and you go fortunately our guests are actually dressed tonight after before We lost the night. That is what it is. Let's try this again. Let's try not to get flustered. We get one warning. Two mess ups is a fine, and three is. Our super chill laid back boss closes it down in a peak of fury. <sighs> Let's try not to deal tonight. I do want that social score back. All right. After, before, everything matches. Look for those skirts. After, before. And like right there, he's not wearing pants, but it's really hard to tell that. There's no skin texture. I really think that it was a mistake to not make the band clothing more obvious. I mean, the shirtless people, I get that. The bikini tops, I get that. But the don't let them in if they're not wearing pants, when you cannot tell the difference between, or I can't anyway, maybe everyone else can. Okay. 
Yes, you're Matthias Bray, but you are not allowed in here. Alright, give me an ID, please. After the door. I don't see how we're gonna make the guest list in time. gotta get six in and we don't even have one standing in line She walks up. She doesn't. That was our last chance. And this is not you, so... You're wearing a bikini, so I can't let you in. If he hadn't been Irish, I, as it was, I couldn't, that, that night was, that night was impossible. I, I do not know whether to, to start over and see if the random number generator makes a difference. I mean, you don't care and you don't want eight hours worth of me playing this stupid game. But I really do want to see if... Alright, I'm just going to do it. I'm kind of obsessed with the beta testing now. Maybe a little bit too much, but... It's, it's got three skulls... Had, had three skull heads on it. Which, if my theory that that's a difficulty level is correct, that should mean that it's oh. only of middling difficulty. But I literally haven't been able to pass with a full guest list yet because there are so many restrictions that almost nobody has been valid to come in. And that's with not even dealing. I'm not taking time to deal. After or before. In. We need nine. Dwervy. Wrong nationality. Sveto's. You're wearing Sveto's, so you can't come in. Portrait. 
You couldn't walk away with dignity, could you, sir? Before, come in. You are not wearing the appropriate clothes. No, get out. Quit arguing with me. We still need five. You are not wearing the appropriate clothes. Stop arguing with me. Ferguson. You can go. Four more. Bentley, but you're from the wrong nationality. I need four more still. After before. After before. You're wearing a bra. A bikini. I just accepted those without even looking. After my first time. You're in the wrong nationality. Shit, she's real. Shit, the next one has a bikini top. This night is literally impossible. Take it, take it quickly. Shit. Okay, that's it. That night, you cannot get the guest list. You cannot get the guest list bonus. Or I can't. If, if it can be got, I don't know how. I played that night perfectly. I don't even think I got a warning. No warning, but I barely passed and I got a C. That, the, ah, uh, the difficulty level is so inconsistent on this game. But whatever, I got five points back on my social score. I don't mind from a sense of like, it's gonna keep me up at night that I didn't get a perfect score. I mind because it it just makes the game. There's, there's a difference between being bad at games, which I'm bad at many games, and between being good at a game, which I think I am good at this, but you're being set up to fail with too short of a time and too low of a chance to roll randomly generated good uh, patrons instead of the the ones that are unacceptable for whatever reasons. You either need to roll that number higher so that there's fewer bad patrons or give more time to do the night. Oh good, Galahad's back. I dislike that they set him up as a stalker who has been blocked by Guinevere. 
And then it turns out they are working together after all. That's personally irksome of me. Uh, like, haha, but I mean, I've had a stalker. It wasn't fun or funny, so it's not. That's, I think, I wouldn't have such a negative emotional reaction to Galahad and Dave if it weren't for those details. And then I feel bad, like, oh man, I'm being so mean to these fictional characters. And it's like, no, wait, we should take stuff like that seriously. It's not cute. guests showing up, then I could have just neglected the main line and blown through the... But they're literally... I processed every guest who came by, and I still couldn't get enough for the guest bonus. Which meant that there just were not enough guests. And I don't know how to fix that. I think that particular night was just bugged up the butt and they gave it a three a three skulls which I don't know that that means difficulty level because I'm basically just guessing that but if they were that is the difficulty level then <laughs> allow me to bitterly laugh Stop wasting my time. Ooh, I am feisty now. Okay, that was bonus two. I can stop. And meanwhile... I got three over the bonus two for this one. Next night. Same person playing, same everything. The difficulty is just all over the map. Bouncer at King's Head. I'm going to bed. Our health is okay. We're we're 20 away from perfection, and so we're going to skip work. That'll give us plus 20 to our health, which will bring us up to 100. We'll lose 10 social points, which we. We can. We're at, we're at a hundred percent, so it's allowed. And um, back up to twenty. So that was the appropriate time to do it. And we didn't need the the job anymore because we we'd done everything. And, and plus, also, I was. I would rather choke on moldy autumn leaves than work another shift at that. I don't have anything to give her because I don't yet have Dave's uh, piggy bank. I will. And now we have to go to the London Wall. We have, we get five warnings before we get fined. So as before, 
We just check the normal stuff. We just check the day and stamp, and we just check and bam, any mimes. Hi, kitten. Hello. Who is a good kitten? You're a good kitten. Yes, you are. Uh, okay, so after, before, Sunday, everything's good. You're alright. Leave the big cat alone. He's sick, you know that. Okay, after, huh. Didn't know you could get a job as a tourist. That's a new one for me. I guess it's a tourist visa as opposed to a working visa? I just, I've never seen that before. I would like to be a professional tourist. Some vloggers, you know, if they get famous enough. Oh man, we let a mime in. Oh well. Um, you know, places give them like free vacations and stuff if they write up that they liked the place. And that sounds, you know, really nice. I would love to have an all-expenses-paid trip to Hawaii or the Caribbean or whatever, so I wonder if that's what a professional tourist is. But then you wouldn't put your job as professional tourist, right? You'd put your job as, like, Instagram model or something. What do you think, Chip? Could you be an Instagram model? You're certainly pretty enough. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, pretty kitty. The... The lady at the shelter said he was a Siamese. But I don't think he is. I think he's a ragdoll. Wow. Wow. He has white feet, which she called a snowshoe Siamese. Uh. And his face isn't oh totally. Yeah. Are you too young? No, you're His face isn't totally yeah. um, black, like in that way that Siamese kit cats have. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah. We're on last call, so I need to be doing these fast, 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 and god damn the mistakes. Uh, so I've got five more mistakes to go. Uh, yeah. Last call. That was a mine. That's okay. Yeah. We've got... We can get five mistakes before we... There we go. That was bonus 15. So we, again, we blew past.
the first half of the second chapter, I am going to stop the video here, cut it, because I decided to do the chapters in, in two videos each. I'm going to stop the video here, cut it, and then I will do the rest of the chapter in the next video. Um, and also, I need to go send my save file to um, um, Panic Barn. Um, and I think I'll need to close the game for that. So I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs> Wait, I have to advance the day or it won't save. <laughs> okay, now I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>